everyone. Now, we all know how easy it is to sign up for subscription services, but when's the last time you purged your purchases? I don't even know if I want to think about mm. that for my case. Consider this an intervention because financial expert Bruce Celery is here. Hello, Tracy. He's going to manage our subscription yes. addiction, yes. and it is an addiction because it is just so easy. Yeah. So let's talk about why subscription services are really big money for businesses. They're great for them because yeah. they sell one customer instead of selling 12, right? So it's yeah. an easy way to guarantee revenue over time. And for us as consumers, it reduces the number of decisions we need to make. Like, oh, what am I going to watch tonight? If you have every single streaming service out there, you watch whatever you want. It's difficult, though, for us to do the calculation, right? Because yeah. it feels cheaper. Like, oh my gosh, it's only 10 bucks a month, no big deal. That's $120 a year. So it's a really big thing. So we think about, you know, our primary addictions, it's things like Instagram and coffee, and it's subscriptions. <laughs> it's subscriptions. It's subscriptions. 100%. It absolutely is. It is so easy to just click on it and say, yeah. oh, well, I'll cancel it later. Yeah. We're going to get into how to cancel because it, it can be hard. Yeah, very hard. Okay, what's the problem with seemingly minimizing these purchases and these expenses short term? Well, if you love your subscriptions and you have all the money in the world, there is no problem. <laughs> you should have more subscriptions. Right. You should sign up for everything. But the reality is most people don't have an infinite amount of money, yeah. and they've kind of lost the plot on what they have. Mm -hmm. The second problem is we don't love them all. Like, if we did one thing, we don't. There was a recent survey that found 42% of respondents were had all these subscriptions and forgot about them. Yeah. They just had no idea that they still had them until they went to their credit card and looked. I'm like, oh, my God, I remember all these things. Yeah, so we're so, supposed to actually look at that credit card bill, We're billet supposed to look at it, And, yes. like, itemize, like, look at that yes. list and see where the money's going. Yes. Like, the thought of it just makes my stomach flip. So... How do these subscription payments add up over time? Let's talk about the math. Oh, they really add up. So I talked yeah. to some audience members beforehand, and yeah. two brave souls are willing to talk about their subscriptions. Yes. We're going to talk to Lola first, who is like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> hoping for an intervention here, but also a little horrified. So Lola, hello, Lola. Hello. You have lots of uh, streaming services. You've got Stars, Netflix, Apple Music, Crave, Disney, Spotify, SiriusXM, and a YouTuber that you love. Love that I have never heard about. When we went through all your <laughs> subscriptions, how did you feel? I don't judge you for a second, but were you kind of a little surprised slash mortified? I was disgusted. <laughs> disgusted. <laughs> disgusted. What was one of the ones that you would keep till your dying day that you would never go without? My Apple Music. Apple yes. Music, right? So yes. uh, Lola's total was two hundred and thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. Big number. And Lola, what I love about what you said is you were like. But I have to keep current. Right. <laughs> so the justification, and of course you have a business and all that, but for Lola there's things like uh, domain names online and web hosting and all those sorts of things. Yes. The second audience member we spoke to is Crystal. Before Crystal, you say anything, Crystal, oh, yes. Lola, I have the same list. <gasps> really? Literally the same list oh of subscription gosh. services. Yes, I just want you to know, girl, you are not alone. <laughs> yes. Lola is all of us. It's like that every makes sense now. Right? Every streaming service has one show you want to watch. That's right. So it's like you end up getting the, the service. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Crystal. And, and then you forget to cancel. So yeah. Crystal's joining us from Newfoundland, which is spectacular. We love that you're here. Beautiful. Thank you. Crystal's got the list of streaming services, but an interesting one she flagged that I think we'd forget about is the security subscription yeah. on our computer. Yep. Right, Crystal? Oh, and you also yep. have a gift box that comes to you. Tell us about yes. that gift box and why do you have it? You love it. I love it. It's Ipsy Glam Bag. Sorry for giving them a plug. But yeah. it's every month I get a little samples of different things, and it's the hope that eventually, you know, I may probably purchase a, a, a full-size product for 30 or $40. But I get it every month, and I enjoy the little things. And then all my nieces and nephews, well, especially my nieces, they all get something at Christmas time from the bags that I don't use. Nice. Oh, nice. That's <laughs> nice. So here yes. we like, oh, Crystal, so nice. It's $154 a month. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal's like, wait a second. And Crystal said to me, she's like, I am thinking about retiring one day. And so this is not great news. It's streaming services. It's cloud storage. Yeah. It's dating websites. Yeah. It's uh, meal kit delivery, yeah, gym yeah, memberships, yeah. Yeah. all the things. And for me, I, I get a physical magazine delivered, which I love. I'm not yeah. going to stop doing that. It's just we need to get really rigorous about the ones that make, make us happiest. Thanks for your vulnerability and candor, audience. I want to know, how do we get our subscriptions under control? 
what do we need to do? Okay, the first thing we have to do is find them, right? Yeah. Because we're like, la, 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 la. So you have to go through your credit card, <laughs> circle the subscriptions, find them, and then tally them up. Yeah. So some are monthly, some are annual. And I actually have a bigger problem with the annual ones because I don't notice them. I got hit True. with a $400 bill Ouch. for a web hosting service for a website I didn't even run anymore, right? Like, it was like, how did that even happen? I'm Bruce Celery, City Lines financial right? expert. How did this even happen to me? Yeah. The third thing is prioritize. So choose three or four, five of the ones that you really, really love. Yeah. And if you're in a partnership with someone else, you may find, listen, we really could share Amazon Prime or, or Netflix mm -hmm. and then cancel the rest. Yeah. Because remember, you can always add them back. If you're like, oh, I totally missed that thing, then you can resubscribe. They would be very happy to have you back. I love that idea. Get rid of it and if you miss it, add it back in. Yeah. So you mentioned it is sort of hard sometimes to oh cancel your subscriptions. They make it really hard. Yeah. Really, really hard. I uh, signed up for a $2 trial for a news site yeah. and to cancel was not one click. I had to call a call center oh. during business hours and wait on hold. With my kid, they had a subscription in Minecraft. Mm -hmm. I could see it in my credit card, and I practically had to become a master Minecraft player to go and find where that <laughs> subscription was. I'm like, I can't find it anywhere. And I think there is a real role for regulations here because uh, there are, they call them dark patterns or deceptive patterns, yeah. where websites make it hard for us to cancel. We're kind of in a maze. Yes. So maybe there'll be some regulations that will help us. But until that time, we need to help ourselves yeah. find them, prioritize, cancel the yeah. ones you don't absolutely oh, In love. the meantime, Lola and I are just going to listen to our <laughs> Apple music. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Really good information there. Thank you. Let's go to break. Okay. we got more coming up. Stay with us. <laughs>